Welcome back, everyone, to part two of the 2023 edition of Talking Turtles with Trevor. Trevor from uh, NECA is, of course, joining us. And it's like we just saw each other a few seconds ago, but we're going to continue uh, this now and talk about some other cool stuff, right? <laughs> I think so, yeah. All there's right. Still, well, there's still more to talk about. Somehow. I know, I know. And yeah. we, we've talked about kind of 2023 in, in review, um, some stuff that's come out via the checklist and some things in 2024. But there are a couple of things that we have to talk about that's like here and now and very current um, and shipping or getting ready um, to ship uh, very soon. And that is the Usagi Yojimbo Year of the Rabbit four pack set as well as the sewer layer living room playset yeah. that is getting ready um, or is currently shipping uh, right now to everyone who bought it off of um, the NECA store. So um, if you're okay with it, I kind of wanted to start with um, the year of the rabbit simply because um, I have uh taken a few pictures of it because i have it live and and ready to go too um but i i wanted to take some pictures of the box and the how it is you know presented there because there's a lot of stuff in there and i didn't want to open it while we were going along um and talking about it so let me let me pull this up now and this is this is a a set that is it's turtles adjacent right yeah. but it is Usagi Yojimbo, Year of the Rabbit, and something that is kind of unique unto itself and something that you guys worked uh, with Stan Sakai on, right? Yep, we worked uh, with Stan on this one. It, this one is it is definitely more um, uh, comic book oriented. Uh, all the deco and everything is is inspired by like Stan's comics. Uh, there's a bunch of new uh, sculpted pieces for this one. There's some new head sculpts. Uh, new weapons, new armor. Um, one one thing that Stan does in a lot of the the comics is like Usagi's got his sleeves rolled up. And yeah. There, so there's like, there's all these details in the comics that you just, you can't fit everything into like one figure. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I really, if we get to do another version of this, uh, I'd love to do, uh, love to do this or that, you know? So you make little notes as you're, you're going along working on figures and the the little like button eyes like the cute face uh-huh very soggy like it'll jump from panel to panel and like sometimes stan draws them like you know real cute like that so we wanted to at some point i knew i want you know we wanted to make a uh that that head and um and yeah we loaded up with more of the uh tokaji uh the little lizard yeah dinosaurs and yeah, there's just tons, tons of cool stuff in here. Well, I, I I have the figures here, and I took some pictures of them um, individually as well to kind of help show them um, in a little bit better detail. Simply because when you're you know you're showing stuff off in a live stream or in a, in a podcast recording, it it doesn't it doesn't read as well as it. No. Could. But I I because I unboxed everything ahead of time, I wanted to share these pictures um, specifically for the packaging, and I took a lot of pictures of the packaging simply because um, when this arrived. And I opened it. I was like so instantly taken um, by the design and the presentation of this. It's I, I I don't know how else to describe it other than it's wonderfully Usagi and it, it, it's like elevated in terms of like it's a really classy um, in, in, you know production with kind of the gold foil um, yeah. on the box and whatnot. So um, how did how did you guys? Uh, arrive on this design for the packaging for it because it just looks great. Um, well, yeah, we had we had been talking with Stan and his people about doing like a box, some doing something special because it was the year of the rabbit this year. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, we started uh, kind of brainstorming on what what it could potentially be. And uh, my best friend in the whole world, Travis uh, Hasback, he. He was the the package designer on this one. He came up with a couple different concepts, and um, you know, it's just it's like every project with Stan. Like we'll come up with sort of like A, B, and C. We'll have a few different ideas. We'll show stuff to Stan, and then he's he'll give us like you know feedback, and and then we'll just you know we'll just sort of keep whittling away at it, get it to where it's it's just how he wants it. Um, 
Uh, so Travis came up with the the overall look of the box. Uh, everyone really liked it. Um, and then at a certain point last year, we we had met this artist named Ben Sito. And uh, Ben is like a really, really talented guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's he's been doing a lot of these like really beautiful like watercolor uh, pieces for us. Like he did the box art for the Space Usagi and for the Samurai uh usagi figures Mm -hmm. Um, so we wanted we wanted to use them again um we want to work with them and he did this really great uh background you can kind of see it there behind the figures but he did this i've got i've got a picture of it um okay yeah so there yeah there it is so we wanted to kind of capture like a few different um you know like the the four different figures we wanted them like represented in this background so yeah uh, so ben came up with this thing we and again we we showed it to stan and uh and stan really liked it and had a few notes so we you know went back and forth and just uh ben's ben's work is incredible and it's a great fit with like with um the usagi stuff so we love working with them and uh yeah so that's like basically how the box came together and then, you know, adding like Travis is really, really great designer. And, um, you know, to put the gold, the gold foil stamps on the, the packaging and everything like Travis is like, we can do this, this, and this to kind of, yeah, the top and the bottom, because there was the, the year of the rabbit and whatnot on, on there too. Yeah. And then the spines are cool too, because it's yeah. like, then it gets very Stan Sakai, right? As as it should. When we we've, we've done those other like the the couple uh, black and white uh, mm-hmm. comic book figures, and like those two, like that Travis's design, that was like his look that he came up with for those boxes. So it's we had kind of like a good template to like a starting point, um, and then yeah, this one it was like doing all the red and the gold foil and everything on it. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, it, it it just looks great, and you know the 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 trays. Uh, I mean, I, I I'm gonna say this, and I mean it in the most complimentary ways. Like this is in itself, it, it's very different, but at the same time, it's a typical NECA four pack in that you guys just loaded it up, and there's so much stuff in terms of accessories and swappable parts and whatnot. But everything is like packaged and i was again taken by this it's like you can see just about everything um from the box with with all these pieces so i thought it it looked really cool just in the tray um itself before i even got it open (laughs) cool yeah i mean we've certainly had our practice with like four packs and yeah yeah you know just loading figures up with all the all the extra goodies and everything so um well, let's uh, let's but like I said, I'll I'll show these off, um, you know, here in person in, in just a minute. But but let's talk about um, each one of the each one of the figures and kind of like you know the the, the source or the inspiration um, that, that that came with with the release of each one of them. Because like you said, you kind of talked about this one. It's got he's got the cute button eyes and of course the the sleeves pushed up. This one to me is like. This is almost like in my mind's eye. This is what I picture when I picture a comic Usagi, right? Yep. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's in so many of the in the issues. It's like Stan the way Stan draws. It's similar in a way to to I think Ken Matroni stuff where they're just because they're you know the characters are just so full of life. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like just the way. The way he draws Usagi, it's just, I, you know, I love when he's, uh, he's got the sleeves rolled up and, yeah, you know, he's just off on some adventure or something. So like, yeah, the comics are great, and it's just, it's really tough to just capture, uh, forty years of Usagi comics in yeah. one figure. So I'm so glad like we were able to expand from that first Usagi and get to do things like this because, um. Even like you see, like we did that first Usagi, and people would do like customs and give them like the dots on, yeah. you know, the the outfit and everything. So I was like, oh yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get to that at some point and do like proper kind of comic book figures and stuff. So um, and the 
you know, the little Tokajis are, they're just all over the books. So, yeah. you know, they'll be sleeping, they'll be, you know, running around. There's all, they're like, they're just everywhere. So it's great to, to be able to do more of these guys and just sort of, um, again, it's just like world building, like fill out your shelf or your, whatever, however you're displaying the figures, like. Well, well, as you said, you know, Stan's drawings are and his characters are so full of life, and that that goes to the Tokaji, right? Because there's like there's there's playful ones, sleeping ones, and 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 we'll we'll see them here in a minute. But um, yeah, so so the 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 to me the the quintessential comic Usagi um is here. Uh, but then there was also this version, which is 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 very comic usagi as well because i you know i took it with this cool soft goods piece on there but it's got the the dots on there but this one is almost like the in between of this the, this first one that we saw and then the cartoon version that we got you know a while back right yeah and this this one too is just like it's there's so many issues where you know usagi's either he's been wandering and he sort of comes into a town or some situation or just, or he's like heading off onto another adventure. You know, there's, you kind of like come in and out of like Usagi's adventures in the books. And there's, there's so many times where he's got either, you know, he's in this really heroic pose with like a, a straw kind of cape or one of these fur cloaks. And he's like trudging through the snow. Yeah. You know, he's got a spear, he's got his hat, like there's, Stan can draw him in these like really fun, cute, like poses, or he can do these really amazing, like, you know, uh, like these big adventures, like kind of scenes. And, uh, and so the, the fur cloak thing is something we've been, I've all, I've been wanting to do that for a while too. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so yeah, so this was, this was a good place for that to put in the, in this four pack. Well, it, it's funny that you mentioned out in the snow because I, I'm not one who normally like hopes for snow um, in in the winter time because it's you know pretty for a few minutes and then it's a pain. But man, yeah. I'm I'm looking forward um, to to some snow around here just to take this this figure out with the fur cloak on uh, and and take some pictures because it, it's it's very much exactly as you said him him trudging through the snow and that's that's so that, that that's that's imagery that's so burned in my brain that uh, it, it's cool to have this version um to to, to be able to do that um but uh the the next one is um it's kind of a play i mean we've got we got a space usagi cartoon kind of what if figure but this is yeah. this is a completely different ilk um as far yeah, as th this one's more kind of directly taken from the space usagi mm -hmm. comics there's like a couple issues uh in that series where he's got this like exact uh headpiece on um and yeah so we wanted and then the the colors like uh there's a bunch of different covers you know he's got all these different looks and stuff so we had come up with a bunch of different like color variations and we showed them to stan and uh uh stan thought this one looked pretty cool and was closer to the comics and everything so mm -hmm. um uh yeah so we ended up we ended up with this with just a few little minor variations on the um on the sculpt there's a new belt and a new headpiece yeah. I think the body is pretty much the same body as like the cartoon space Usagi, but uh, Jeff Trapp, who's like the head painter on this really? stuff, uh, Jeff is just so good at like kind of disguising or or you just you don't even realize it's really like the same basic like figure. Yeah, just a couple different like colors and and adding in like the little hash lines and everything. It's just it ends up looking like a completely different thing. So. Uh, uh yeah Je and paul harding did all the sculpting on these things and the expression on the face is great it just, yeah. everything turned out so good so yeah and the the mecca or the the robo tokajis this one was cool because he's yeah. got a, a little stand to to be able to hold that 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 pose um that's kind of like it, it's like i don't know 
your, your, your dog wanting a treat or something like that standing up there's, like that. yeah there's there's one issue where they're they're they have jetpacks and stuff and they're mm-hmm. floating in space and it's like they're it, like spot is out there with them just like he's got a little jet pack on too like and so uh so paul sculpted that one in more of like that floating like flying pose and we just we don't want to sacrifice anything uh yeah. with the sculpt so we just we we're like let's give him a little there's a little ball jointed flight stand so you can like position them yeah it, and it works it works really well um actually because when i took it out i was like what is oh okay and then you know you can kind of get those tilts like that, that look natural floating yeah. through space for a little you know <laughs> robot lizard so <laughs> Yeah, the robo spots are uh, yeah. are awesome. Yeah. Well, and then um, the final figure is a. We it's weird because in the lat when we were going through the checklist, we saw you know a a a different um, samurai version, but this is uh, one that is definitely has its roots within the comics, right? Yeah. Um... Yeah, the comics, there's, like, tons of flashbacks to when, uh, you know, he was, like, a samurai. And uh, and so this one, too, like, this this head's different. It's, it's, a new, it's a new sculpt, and the helmet's removable, and he's got a headband, like, sculpted on on the head. Um, and it's there's, there's certain uh, panels in the comic that we were, we were referencing specifically for this one just to make it really stand out make it different from the the cartoon yeah uh, samurai adventure one uh so yeah he's yeah it's he's cool and and again also just kind of really different has his own his own look uh compared to the other the yeah. other uh, cartoon figures we've done and, and and he does, and I'll show it here in a minute. The the helmet does remove um, through the same style socket as the ears, and you can actually put ears there. There's a set of set of ears included um, to to go with this. So if you didn't want the helmet on, or if you wanted to hold it or something, it could become an accessory pretty quickly. Yeah, I think originally it was this one wasn't going to um, come with the helmet because I just wanted him to have that like the headband. Mm-hmm. Uh, head and then um i think randy was like oh we'll just we'll give him the helmet so it's like a complete set and it's not like a piece missing or anything and yeah they're the factory they're able to like get it worked out so like the helmet fit over the head with the headband and, um so it ended up being like this extra piece that we we're able to uh include yeah which is, which is great so i i think it turned out really well when i was originally looking at you know the package you know it was like they all kind of jumped out at me and this one was like you know with this banner and everything too this is a this is going to be a really really fun figure um to to just kind of have posed out on its own and um i'm I'm glad that uh i'm glad the factory was able to make it so that you can um display it with the helmet on or off because like we'll show here in a minute he does look really cool with just the headband on too yeah but um, here is here is the group um, together, which we'll get to. And I also wanted to show kind of in a picture form too. Now this is this is the Usagi collection released thus far, minus the kind of black and white stand edition of the first space Usagi, because I only have that one boxed. Um, oh, I, 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 that that one's in the package, so um, it didn't make it on here. But man, this is a the, 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 this is really cool to, to to have this out here now um, with all of these, you know, different versions and, and more to come, because I know that I love Usagi a lot. I know a lot of people really do. And I, I think it's cool to have this, you know, continue to be somewhat adjacent to the Turtles, but it's definitely its own thing now, too. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, they, they do look really cool together like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a it's a good series. We should um, hopefully people like them all, and we you know we get to keep making more Usagi stuff because there's lots of characters. There's, <laughs> there's lots there's lots more characters out there beyond Usagi. It's yeah, like, we, maybe we should make a couple couple more. 
That 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 sounds like that sounds it's like a lot a, of Usagi's right now. A great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, to that point, I'm going to stop sharing that for a second, and I'm going to actually pin my screen because I wanted to show off. Um, you know, even though the box is empty now, um, I, I think you can kind of get the the gold foil effect here. Um, yeah. a little bit better than the ones that were kind of under, you know, the studio lights. So if if uh, if you have the desire to keep, you know, this set in the box or just keep the box uh, itself, um, it, it 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 really is it really is nicely done. Um, very 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 cool presentation, not only for the box but then also um, I'm I'm gonna have to like cut the cut the background, you know, cut the flaps off of here and find a way to integrate this into the uh into the, the display because as you said it it really is a cool piece of art that is very inherently usagi um so it's it, it's really cool man but yeah, great little backdrop i uh i have <laughs> i, I kind of put them all um together oh, yeah. on this uh uh, on these, you know, acrylic risers, just because I wanted to, you know, be able to present them in, in, you know, actual space of, you know, this is a, th th this is definitely a, an impressive group together now. Um, but it, it also gave me an opportunity um, to be able to, to take them off of there. Um, because as we were talking, um, I wanted to especially show off, you know, here's the, Here's the samurai one, and and I just uh, I kind of I kind of look to the uh, vintage what sewer samurai Leonardo figure with the way that he had his you know banner. Oh, yeah. I, I just took I just took a clear rubber band and put that around him, so like this can kind of be like at his back too. So oh yeah, that's that's how uh, yeah I think the samurais would wear those on their yeah backs or something. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so that that's kind of a a cool thing to be able to do. But then, as we said, there he is with the helmet off, and I will plug the the ears in because it's the same same size. There we go. And then, yeah, then he is without his helmet on with the ears and. The headband on, yeah, pretty cool. So, yeah, that's a that, that that that's a cool effect. But just to just to have all of the, and then oh yeah, the helmet then um, could definitely just be you know a, an accessory. But there 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 are so many swappable hands um, and swappable weapons and and, and pieces and whatnot um, that that come with these. It's like um, you know I couldn't even get them to hold all the different you know because we've got the spear. Um, going on and then um you know whoops hat fell off but um here's the here's the other one and then of course if you take the the coat off of, or the the fur off of him you know he looks like that and of course these ears are uh swappable as well with any of the you know, up ears. Um, if you if you wanted to put those on him, but I I really love the look of this one. Like I said, with the with the fur and the hat on, um, and it just uh, it, it kind of distinguishes him um a little bit and from you know the rest. And it's it's you know comparison to the the cartoon version where they 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 have their similarities, but they're 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 very different once they're you know kind of presented side by side. Yeah. Yeah. So, man, um, this is just this is just a just a, a really cool set. Something that, um, as we said, I hope um, you know it can continue um, and see more Usagi to not only keep it turtle adjacent, but to expand on his um, world uh, in and of itself. And I don't know. This is like going to be this is like going to be like a new traveling accessory um, for me. It's like take <laughs> as it, it should be. Uh, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> uh, I just love them uh, spot asleep like that. That's that's pretty awesome. So um, very yeah, that's that's taken. I think there's like this one one panel in one issue somewhere where he was like curled up asleep. And I was like, this is adorable. And he yeah. Sent it to Paul. I was like, you have to sculpt this one. He's like, OK. 
<laughs> well, it's uh, it, it's like like I said, it's a it's a really it's a really cool set that gives you know for for it all being the same character, it really gives a you know diverse take on all of these different looks and you know lives and whatnot um, that that the character has has had. So um, you know, I, I think anyone who is a, a an Usagi fan um, is definitely going to be you know happy uh, with this. But you know, if you if you include all the previous versions, the black and whites and and all of that, it's like we're we're up to eight um, in hand at this point, and then nine with the other samurai um, one that's coming. So um, that's that's pretty that's pretty great. And like we said, uh, hopefully hopefully more and maybe some some more characters out there it's um it, 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 i i imagine it's it's enjoyable working with stan on on stuff like this much like it oh, is sure. with like kevin and them when um you know you're getting to work directly with the artist who created the character right <laughs> yeah stan's incredible um yeah he's he's so easy to work with and i met him a few times at like uh comic book conventions now and he's just he's like he's yeah, he's a wonderful guy. Great, there's great people working for him, and uh, the Usagi comics are just incredible. So, like, yeah. you know, it's uh, it's it's great. It's all just good stuff to work on. It's fun. So, yeah, hopefully we get to just keep doing more and more. Well, cool. Well, this was sold um, via the NECA store. It has um, since sold out, um, which is cool um, because uh, the, the the people seem to to like it and it's 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 popular. Um, and since you were able to get a somewhat early um, sample out, uh, though, uh, it it shows that it's got to be pretty close um, to 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 finishing and shipping. Yep. Out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, for the last part of this, we're going to have to do a little bit of movie magic um, in order for us to talk about the actual, the absolute behemoth um, that is the sewer layer, layer living room. So um, I'm going to snap my fingers and we're going to do some amazing jump cut. And in just a second, I'm going to be slightly reconfigured so we can uh, take a look at uh, the, the the layer diorama playset. So um, if you're ready, here we go. We're back. Uh, and all of a sudden there's this gigantic sewer layer playset here. I'm uh, going to try to uh, talk through it a little bit with you. Um, as best I can, um, being slightly out of frame, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but here it is. Um, the, the first part of the sewer layer, the living room, and I brought the best turtle with me for a little bit of, a, <laughs> a scale action here, but, uh, there's Donatello standing in the middle of the living room. So here it is, man, the lair. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's big, right? Yeah, it's it, it, it's it's one of those things that I've seen it a couple of times um, at Comic Con many years ago, at Comic Con this past year, and then I actually got to you know mess with it somewhat a little bit at at Power Con this year. But yeah, when it's Power like, Con, it was it was out on the table for people to like you know really yeah. get close and inspect and everything. But but when it's kind of in, I guess your own space. It's something else uh, entirely, and uh, we have a lot of figures in this line, but just this first piece alone um, can can definitely house a bunch of them. So, um, what, what you know, when when I got this, and it came in a giant box that is like an old timey suitcase that you know you would carry around yeah. with any roller. Yeah, yeah. There it is. <laughs> it's a huge box. With a built-in handle, yeah, I and mean, it's 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 a it's a big yeah it's a massive piece so yeah and uh, it the, the the top flap has uh, the return of Donatello's uh, tech tips and whatnot but but really <laughs> yeah the techno tips are yeah the techno tips this yeah. was this was really easy though to to get together it really just came in a few um pieces and once you kind of got them snapped together and put there it, it's like you got this the solid part with you know the the pipes that are like interactive it's there's a yeah. couple of uh couple of rugs that it's like they're like they they could double as many mouse pads because it's got that gripper. did you get two did they send you two 
rugs? Did there were two, two. There are two rugs in with this one. Is it only supposed to come? Oh, with bonus. Yeah, I don't know. There, I we had only planned for one. Maybe they doubled up and put two in there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because there, there's um, another one. Uh, another one right there. So I, I guess we'll see uh, what happens. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I think I had sent them a sample or told them just to like, like you could print artwork, do like a custom mouse pad or something, and yeah. so. Like, yeah, I was just like, I don't know, just make it like a mouse pad and that'll be fine. Cause it's it's gotta be flat enough like for a figure to stand on it. If it yeah. was more of like kind of like a fluffy rug texture, it's not a really stable base for for figures, you know? Yeah. Um, so I was like, eh, mouse pad, everyone knows how to make those. Like that's simple enough. And so, and, and it actually works, it works perfectly because it stays in place. Um, because yeah. it's got you know the grippy grippy bottom on it, and then you know no problem standing yeah. fingers up on it, and and like I said, the the pipes you know you have to assemble the floor and the walls together, and then stuff like the the stop sign and the mirror and the 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 pictures and stuff like that, those just snap right in, um, and and then the pipes go in up here, and and it all comes together uh, pretty pretty easily. The pipes, the pipes kind of, I'm glad to hear that because it is like the pipes probably the trickiest part because it's when, when you're just taking it out of the blister tray, you're just like, what are all these parts? But yeah, you got Donatello's techno tips like printed on the box. And if you just, and it, they're labeled like, I think it's like A, B, C, and D, like each corner of the pipe is labeled. So like A plugs into B and C plugs into D or something. So you kind of, once you have the room together, everything should just kind of fall in place if you just like lay it out you know it's 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 should be you said it was easy enough and like, yeah you never you never had to build one i've put a bunch of these together so yeah i kind of well, know where they all where all the parts go but well it's it it uh the the, the pipes I'm, i was glad for the techno tips because uh, to your point the way that you know the pieces key together it's unique so you can't plug the wrong yeah, you can't yeah it we try to make it as like sort of user friendly as possible you know it's yeah it, this it only goes in one way right but but i was glad that the tips were in there because when i was first putting it together this the the the, the, the pipes don't you know trace the perimeter it's, yeah it's not a square it's not a rectangle right. so i was not like i'm not getting this on correct because it's all not, yeah, not 90 degree angles yeah yeah but but it, it plugs in with this kind of support one over here and then the smaller smaller pieces is over there so it, it does add you know some some depth to it and you know you could you can hang stuff uh from from these and whatnot and um it it, it just adds another dimension up here um that, that's really neat uh, another part of this that i wasn't expecting um to be its own pieces are kind of these like where the cement is scuffed. Oh yeah, like that stucco or something that's mm -hmm. like yeah, it, and that's wall. like a that's like a almost foamy, um, sticky piece that you know I <laughs> I put them on there the way that the techno tips you know kind of described where they could be, but because of their shape, I mean you can you can play around with it a little bit um, to put mm -hmm. them you know where you want. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like choose your own adventure. You can kind yeah. Of, yeah. 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 Kind yeah. Of match kind of the way it is on the show or follow the techno tips or you can, yeah, you just you can stick them wherever you want, really. So, yeah. And and then, of course, it comes with I, I've I put a few extra pieces in here, just some things that I knew I could grab to, to help fill it out. But, you know, it comes with the couch and the chair and the lamp and the two tables. Uh, over here, and then kind of the, the the table over here with the 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 lantern on it, and and the turtle piece. But the television, as we talked about from the accessory set, you know that that slides right into the corner perfectly. And and a lot of the little accessories that you were talking about before, like you know the gazai plant and one of the boom boxes, pizza, the pizza backpack. It all. I mean, you could you could litter this place um with with a hundred items to make it look as cluttered or as neat um as, as you would like but uh yeah. there's there's a lot that can go on in here yeah and we even made that um metal head with the vacuum arm so if the layer <laughs> yeah. gets too dirty you could have metal head like you know cleaning cleaning up yeah. the uh, 
and rug. you get a you get a real a, a realish rug um, for him to actually yeah to to, to to actually vacuum so 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 that's that's cool and and as you can see if I turn it just a little bit um, you know the the sides kind of have the other relief piece on here but you can already tell that you know the way that these two on each side the portholes kind of align that you can set another one yeah. <laughs> next to it and everything will kind of connect room to room just like it it did on the show. Yeah, definitely. It's all modular and um yeah, you can it's just like build a sewer. You can just like connect and get as many rooms as you want. You know? Yeah. It's yeah. All now it also comes with this one of the thickest pieces of <laughs> like foam core uh, yeah, yeah. street top that makes it so that it can sit right on top and just either have a, a bit of a lid um, to it right on there, or I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to take pictures of it though, which I will get yeah. online soon. You can actually put the one of the street scene dioramas to sit right on top of here <laughs> yeah that's the idea um <clears throat> we looked at a bunch of different materials to get that kind of street topper uh-huh and just for years just in my own like collection i've just had this like really thick like foam core uh you know at, serving as like a shelf to you know before we had the real that sewer layer i just kind of built my own out of like foam and stuff yeah those those boards work really well like that double thickness yeah you don't need any sort of middle support like we tried with a plastic floor and it's it's too big uh for tooling so there needs to be a split and it bows in the middle so you need to build like a support arm yeah ground up to the ceiling uh wood was just like too heavy for production you know for shipping yeah um so there was like, you know, plastic didn't work, wood what wasn't working. Uh, but this this foam core, we had sent the factory a sample. And um that thing, it can hold like 15 or 20 pounds, which easily like is the weight of the street and the, some figures. Yeah. Uh, so it's it was the best option for like super lightweight, which is good for shipping, and like very durable and can hold a lot of weight. And you really don't need to um put any kind of support or anything in the middle of the room to like keep it from like bowing or sagging. Right. And, but, but, but to, to that point, I mean, it's not just the walls that, that help support it because these two pipes that are right yeah. here, gives it, gives it a little bit. And this would be like right where like the main part of the weight of the street scene would be sitting as well. So yeah, it, it helps displace some of that weight for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but um, it, it's it, it's funny because if you take, I mean, everything comes out of here. I, I mean, the couch, not nothing, nothing, nothing is attached to the floor or or anything like that. So <laughs> it's I, not I, now. It was originally the the factory really? keyed everything in. Uh, they keyed everything into the floor, and I was like, oh my god, don't do. That. I said it's just like a dollhouse where yeah. everything can like come in and out, and people can like display it how they want you know we sent all the parts over and the you know the factory will take stuff so literally sometimes so they saw the the paint master image or how everything was sitting in like the digital files yeah and they just like that couch was bolted into the floor and i was like no no don't do that don't. <laughs> it's just people can move it around you gotta you know so uh so yeah so we we did like a take two and they they fixed all of that and yeah, so it's just a nice flat floor. You can move everything around, however, however you want to display it. Well, it uh, it what 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 strikes me about it is is that yes, I'm glad that you can display things however you want it, but it's you you have the ability because there's a lot of space that's going on in here. So if you want to keep it minimalistic from a, you know, furniture and accessory standpoint to just like fill it with figures, you can absolutely do that. But, you know, as we've said previously, I mean, you could put a lot of the little pieces and thing. I mean, <laughs> 
just just to talk about the size, I could put the whole van in the middle of this if I, you know. The to, van, uh, yeah, that's how big it is. Is the van fits like inside it, and there's still room, yeah, around the sides and everything. So, um, yeah, and I, that's another thing with the um, with the things being modular and how you, if you just wanted an empty room to display, you could load it up with figures. But you know, if you want it to be kind of like the show, the couch is tilted more towards the tv but then yeah well the turtles backs are towards like you right and if you want to photograph it you might want to tilt it around and angle things you can do whatever whatever you want with it so it's it's nice um it's just kind of it's like a, it is like a choose your own adventure kind of you can display it however you want you know well and and so much so that if it's devoid of the you know included pieces or you know pieces that you would you would add from previous you know turtle releases then i mean it really just becomes a i i a i don't want to say generic because it's not generic but it becomes a sewer that could be accessible yeah. to a lot of different things right <laughs> yeah sure yeah it's just like a sewer it's just like yeah. an empty room so yeah yeah it's kind of like the street diorama the street mm -hmm. is just like a building this could just if you stripped everything out of it you know it could just be like an empty room so. yeah yeah and you can fill it with uh what, what whatever whatever you like because i mean if you if you really love the rat king you could probably build it out to to look like where you know he hangs yeah. out the subway-ish sewer part too right so yeah he's got his own like sewer hideout for sure yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and Mondo, Ma doesn't Mondo like live around the way eventually too? So you know, yeah, Mondo hangs out in the sewers too. There's a lot of a lot of those guys hang out in the sewers. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I I I I think that you know once people start to get this in hand, um, it's going to be a lot of fun to see what everyone does with it. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty, I don't want to say by the, the books, but it's like, I, I would look to capture that like classic feel of like the living room as it is on the cartoon. Um, but for some people, I, I mean, I just, I, I, I look forward to, you know, just, just what they're going to, to do with it. It's like having cantina aliens or something or, or whatever, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, just, just, just happening, um, in this thing, because it does have the potential to do that. So, um, it's, it's, it's really fun, um, from, from that perspective. And, uh, if, if I've got all my measurements right and whatnot, it's like, if you adjust shelves, if you have bookshelves and whatnot, it's like, you can get it to kind of fit within, um, some of them if they're deep enough. So, uh, it's, it's a large piece, but because of the shape, and the way that it functions, it can be integrated into a lot of places, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. We, most importantly, we needed it to fit in our Comic Con display case. Oh, yeah. And those shelves are about 15 inches deep, I think. So yeah. it's, we couldn't we couldn't make it any bigger. Originally, we had talked about making it just like detolf sized. Uh huh. Like one of the original when we were kicking around ideas, we we were we knew we were going to make these and it was like everything was there were just going to be square modular rooms almost like the old simpsons uh little yeah the world of set. springfield yeah and when we the first room we it just didn't look right because it was too small it was too cramped it didn't look like it looked on the show so it it got wider but yeah we always try to keep it like it had to be like 15 inches deep or less because it yeah Otherwise, it, we'd have to build like a whole new booth at <laughs> or something to display, it, and that wasn't going to happen. So, um, so yeah, I think 15 inches is like probably a good depth for most people's like shelves or display cases or whatever that you know whatever they have. So, um, yeah, it's it's pretty collector friendly, I think, um, yeah. as far as display goes. Um, so yeah. Well, um, you know, I, as I said, I was just able to, you know, fill it with some, I, I guess, logical pieces that you would find about the lair um, on on the cartoon. But I'll pro I'm probably going to spend 
um, a good portion of my day tomorrow um, adding things uh, and taking pictures of it because um, I I think in a video like this, uh, it, it helps to kind of show, you know, just how big it is in space because individual pictures, you know, it's like, oh, okay, it, it could be, it could be anything, but it's like, you know, it's, th th this is a, this is a really large um, and functional piece. And I think once people start getting it, they're going to get real creative and have a lot of fun with it. And it's like, now I'm thinking about where the the next one's going to add on to it and just, uh, you know, I don't know. Never would I have thought that you guys would be getting to uh, the layer, but I mean, I guess I should know better yeah. at this point, right? It's, yeah, no, yeah, uh, it's crazy because I, I agree. It's, you know, because the layer is such a big place. Like there's, yeah, Leonard's got his little like meditation room. There's like, that other right off of the living room, there's like those little tunnels where they have their beds, you know, yeah. like there's like yeah. the bedrooms, there's the dojo, there's like the weapons room, there's the garage, there's the lab, kitchen. So like yeah. the layer itself is is a huge, huge and then there's just like generic sewer tunnels that like yeah. you don't like where like you said, the rat king can hang well, out, Mondo's sewer surfing, skateboarding with Mikey, so that 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 iconic, you know, when April first meets the the turtles and they beat up the gang, you know, just yeah. right right underneath there, yeah, yeah. And, there's lots of just like just random, uh, yeah, like there's just all the sewer is a big place <laughs> underneath yeah. New York City, so yeah, just doing a couple where there's like a ladder going up to the street, like manhole yeah. covers, and you know, I didn't want to put anything like that directly, like in the living room because like mm -hmm. i don't know it just seemed seemed a little too crazy to have like a ladder going straight down into the yeah. where they live because it was always a secret location but if we did another room like a tunnel or just a generic hallway or something like you know you could have more of those uh more of those like pieces so 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 does the does the lab that you're working on now does it have like different pipe configuration yeah. The two, yeah, okay. Yeah, the lab, uh, the lab and the kitchen have different pipe configurations. Um, those, the lab has like a couple different, um, uh, like like the tunnel pieces, like because Donatello kind of caps those off and makes shelves out of them. Uh huh. So I think Donnie's lab has like a, an extra couple pieces where those they're capped off and they've got like a bunch of tech like yeah. stacked up so like that, so yeah like that one back there might be open it's like the two on the sides okay one one at least one of them on the side i think is is capped off but that piece like can be removable so if you wanted to like put in like an open tunnel so it connects to the next room yeah you could probably do that um and then uh uh what else is there in the lab the lab's got uh some different there's like different like stucco spackling on the walls mm -hmm. uh it's like a much broader uh like a bigger space of like gray wall and then there's like some tech pieces that, there's a big generator this big crane arm thing that swings out from the wall yeah um so yeah there's there's a bunch of bunch of different stuff that like just fits into that same space uh so yeah it's just you know it's just crazy there's so there's just so much stuff and then like the kitchen has like the fridge and like yeah. the the stove and all the shelves and the cupboards and the dining room table you know there's like there's just all these like crazy extra pieces and stuff so their, their, their kitchen's gonna like have more stuff than than mine does so that that's cool <laughs> yeah tom that sculpted all that stuff he went crazy with like stacks of frozen pizzas and like, yeah. uh there's like some like leftover like chinese food and like the little containers and then you know because it, the way it's it's like a lived-in space on the show yeah. so like, across like, all the teenagers. shelves there's like pots and pans and like jars of you know whatever like pizza ingredients and stuff so um 
yeah, there's just like tons of like little bits of this and that. So well, well, to be to be getting the full on turtle van, which is right here, and then the first portion, the first portion, <laughs> the living room portion yeah. of the sewer layer, all within essentially um a few weeks of each other. Uh that's that that's pretty that's pretty crazy um to to think about uh but it's happening now so if you uh if you ordered the van that is shipping if you ordered the sewer it's like right there um getting ready um because i know the email updates have been saying december so i think i'm sure it will continue on into next month because this month is almost over um but to be able to add two gigantic centerpieces uh to an already insane cartoon collection uh it's a hell of a way to cap off 2023, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then we're, we're just getting started. We get the, <laughs> the lab next year, and we got another, you know, we got to think of the next 100 figures for the cartoon and more vehicles, maybe. Yeah, there's there's still lots more to do. So. More vehicles. Mm. Yeah, the, uh, I was going to say, with all the with all the turtle vans and layers and whatnot coming out, uh, you know, Shredder and crew might be getting a little, little jealous of, uh, of the good guys at that point. <laughs> yeah, they should be. That's, I mean, that's why they've got a giant molecular amplification crank to <laughs> stomp the vans, you know, and it, it, the, it, it you could know, be a, that could be a vehicle. Something. That that could be a vehicle for them, you know. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> well, um, you know. Awesome, awesome work as always. Um, credit to because I know I know you um you kind of you know spearhead and 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 guide, but there are a lot of people um that work on this stuff um who are passionate, oh, yeah. extremely talented. So yeah, it's a huge, uh, it's a huge team of people. I like taking all the credit for this stuff. Uh because I really I feel like I am just using NECA to make all this stuff for myself. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> These are the toys I've always wanted, and like Randy has been nice enough to let me just make kind of whatever I want. And Nickelodeon is cool with just like you know letting us go crazy with this stuff. But yeah, there's a huge team of artists that like all these people that go into this uh, that that make all this possible. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's a it's a good team. Well. Um... We're as as the fans and collectors, uh, we're very fortunate to uh, have you and that whole team working on this stuff because there's uh, there's no doubting the uh, dedication and 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 the the artistry and craftsmanship, obviously, uh, but the the love for the property and the dedication to it really comes through, especially I mean when you're talking about a ridiculous piece um like this so um fun times man so uh thank you and thank them uh very much we appreciate it oh cool uh thank you for uh all the support over the years and it's great to sit here and talk to you for six hours or whatever <laughs> it's been like spend all night just talking about ninja turtles and you're like i need to go to bed stuff. dummy <laughs> yeah. no it's yeah it's always fun to to you know kind of you know, recap the year and like go over all this stuff and look into what's coming up. So it's, it's great. Well, um, thank you, uh, for being more than generous, uh, with your time. Um, I hope that, uh, you know, you have a good, um, holiday season end of the year. And, uh, you know, when, um, there's, there's more stuff to talk about, let's, let's do it again. Maybe, uh, maybe not for like, you know, 15 hours like we're up to um at this point but uh every yeah. time i say all right we're gonna keep it just just do an hour like uh -huh. you don't need me talking for more than an hour <laughs> before you know it, it's like my god well it's it, it's it's all good stuff so it's much much appreciated so um again thank you very much um for joining us as always trevor um very much appreciated and thanks to everyone um who is tuning in um, for parts one and part two of the 2023 Talking Turtles with Trevor, which is uh, our inaugural new, um, you know, shows on on the new channel. So uh, we uh, we definitely appreciate it, and uh, we hope to see everyone about back again soon. But uh, in the meantime, uh, man, thanks, Trevor, and Cowabunga. All right. All right.
Later, guys. <laughs>